Hello WF, W Productions and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on keyframing. Now keyframing is probably the most important thing in video editing. It basically makes your video flow a lot better. Uh, it took me a while to understand what keyframing was and what it did. But uh, hopefully I can just... It, it, everything just makes sense in video editing once you know what it is. So I suggest watching this tutorial before any others. Uh, right, hopefully I can show you what that is today. Uh, I have a clip in my project media, so I'll just drag that in. It will be that kill catastrophe on cold storage. I should be using that again. Let's just trim it down a bit, make it look a bit nicer. Okay, uh, let's get an effect. An effect that's used quite often is the blur. Gaussian blur. Let's throw this in. Now, you'll see people have clips like this. Uh, as you can see, the clip's just blurred at the moment. And you can change the amount, it's blurred, see the horizontal range, if you just look in the preview window, just show you how the amount you want. And you can have like no blur or you can have some blur. But the way you make it is you put some blur on it, then you've got to look down at this timeline and you've got these diamonds. Now these diamonds basically just represent where you are in your timeline and what point you want the effect to be at. So if you decide after uh, after say two seconds you want the blur to go away simply hit the plus and minus and this will create and delete the keyframes if you hit the plus then another little diamond will come up now whilst the cursor is directly on this on this keyframe what you want to do is just drag all the blur off and then as you'll see as the clip plays the blur just fades off and people often open titles with a blur just like that, you'll see it very often. Uh what what you'll see if this isn't if this hasn't been done, let's just reset this clip. Is people who want to you use the blur when the clip is speeded up generally. So if we split the clip here and then you want to speed it up and then you want to have it there. People who don't know keyframing you will recognise this a lot in Tages. Is when they just split the clip, they speed it up and then they throw a blur there it kind of just looks like this the blur just comes on straight away and disappears straight away and key keyframing just makes that look a lot smoother I'll just do one more example uh, black and white black and white is used quite often and you, you just want you just want it to flow 100% black and white and then you drag this long. Uh, if you actually just move this straight away, then uh, a keyframe will automatically appear. So then, if you just turn this down again, once again, you see it 100% black and white, and it fades into color slowly. It just makes your video look a lot smoother and cleaner. Uh, I'll show you something else you can do in the pan crop. Let me delete this. Right click, delete the effects. Just get it off. Uh, if you go to right click event pan crop now you see this is where you can move the screen around like so you can zoom it in but that's about all you can do uh, what you see from keyframing is you've seen this a lot you've got, you've got your square with the F in it and it's just perfectly around your thing and then after two seconds say you wanted to zoom in or actually let's make it seconds so you can zoom in and that made uh, after two seconds or whatever you want it to be at you either hit the plus or just move it and it will automatically appear see the other diamond appears down here uh, just create it zoomed in move it around to where you want it and then uh, after another second say you want it back to normal if you double click it will go back to the center just a quick twit tip and I'm, keep, I'm holding control and shift and this keeps the proportion the same size it just stops it from looking too jolty and you might get random widescreens or whatever on it so just hold control shift and it look nicely uh, so yeah you'll see it zooms in at the nade and then just zooms back out Makes, gives the triple kill just some sort of effect to it play that and that's basically keyframing you use this on your text to make that move you use it on your effects to make them come to life you use that on your pan crop when you're moving your mouse around or just moving your screen around and hopefully that's explained it this has been a W production tutorial thanks for watching and don't get to subscribe